Hello everyone and welcome back to another channel of V's Bar Taste. So today I'm introducing a new type of drink. Um, everyone remembers the Mad Dogs. Like it was back in the old days that we used to be drinking them. Mainly a lot of our parents had. Um, you know they had different types of flavors out there. But now Mad Dog introduced a new one. And in fact, they got another one coming out after this one, but I haven't been able to get a hold of that one yet. This one is called, and it's an exclusive limited edition, Mad Dog Limited Edition Gold Pineapple. So what do you think? You think it might taste like a little pineapple? Hmm, hopefully. Um, I haven't opened it yet, and I'm curious about it. I like the looks of the bottle, so... As you can see, that the bottle pretty much even had dollar signs on it. Like, it really had straight up dollar signs if you look closely. Limited edition, gold. I'm just stuck on why the hell they put sunglasses on a pineapple. Like, I like the touch though, it's cool. But uh, <laughs> I think that's a little bit too much for a bottle. Um. So, we're about to open this thing and see how it tastes. Now, like I said, apparently there's only a few places in Philadelphia that sells it. But I haven't been able to find all the locations yet, but one. The place was called TD Beer. It's near Allegheny Avenue. Um, down below will be the whole address as well as the price of it. So, if you might want to stop by, go get a bottle, test it out. All the info will be right there. Um, it is limited uh, limited time, though. Like, they're only going to make a few of them. This store happens to only have a certain amount. They only bought two cases in. So, if you do want to go get one of these bottles, I suggest you move quick. Because, apparently, they have been selling them. Um, there's still a few bottles that I know of. When I went in there, I bought four bottles alone. One for my sister. One for my dad. And my mom and I have two so yeah we're gonna pop this baby open see how it tastes and if it might, might taste like a hopefully like a pineapple mad dog would so right now bah, 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 I got my ice tray sometimes I like drinking my mad dogs on the rocks like I can drink any alcohol straight up but eh, it's good sometimes just to try it a little bit you know Oh yeah, I got my little clamp too. <laughs> it's it's good to try it a little bit um, cold at times. Like there's certain drinks you might want to try cold. <clears throat> Wish me luck. Hopefully, it's good. If not, I want a refund. I will, it might be half gone, but I want my refund that, back with this. Ooh, it almost spilled right over the cup. Ooh, okay, yeah. It definitely smells like the pineapple. <laughs> it smells like a beer, too. Even though it's wine, it really... It definitely smells like a traditional mad dog with a hint of pineapple in it. So, um, hopefully the taste is, is better than the smell of it. Bottom of the Hmm. Okay, so... I'm not going to, I do like, I like it. It's, it's a little bit weak to me when it comes down to the, me to the pineapple. Like, honestly, they could have, they could have added a little bit more pineapple flavor to it. Um, it is good though. It has a sweet texture to it. Um, tastes like a traditional mad dog with the hint of pineapple. Um, all in all, I think if, I, I'll give it about a four when it comes down to a rating. Because truth be told, not just because of the bottle, because the bottle is cool, but like I said, is it definitely tastes a little bit of a sweeter from the pineapple compared to a regular Mad Dog. So I, I would say this would be something that you might want to try out. And like I said, I I think, in my own opinion, that they could have increased the taste of the pineapple in it to give it more of that pineapple flavor. Like you really do taste more of the mad dog, the wine part of it, than the pineapple itself. 
but I know what I'm drinking tonight, then. Um, but yeah, like I said, there's only a few locations in the United States that I know of. Well, not that I know of, more of that I found out that there is actually is out there. Now, I only knew about that one location so far, and I'm still looking for more locations. That way I can help everyone out around the Philadelphia areas as well as other areas that might be looking for something different, something they haven't tried yet. So, um, I hope you guys do like this video that I just made. Leave your comments below on what other type of alcohols you might think about you want to find out how it tastes or, um, where they're located, how the price of them is. Um, please like my own channel and subscribe so you can actually find out about any more videos I'm about to come out with. Um, the price for this Mad Dog is around 7 to $8. So it's cheap. It may not be as cheap as the regular, the other Mad Dogs and Wine and Spirit, but it's still in the cheap range. So honestly, you might as well give it a try. Um... Now, the next Mad Dog that they're coming out with, that I found out about, I'm waiting to see, and I actually confirmed it from the website for Mad Dogs themselves, is a Mad Dog Dragon Fruit. That is going to be crazy to see. Like, it's a whole Mad Dog that actually has the flavor of Dragon Fruit. And for all those who know of it, Dragon Fruit is an overseas Japanese slash Chinese type fruit. It's not something typical that you can get in America unless they is imported over here. So Dunkin' Donuts just got a drink now that even has that dragon fruit in it, like strawberry dragon fruit. It's really good, and I suggest to a lot of people to give it a shot because, in all honesty, it 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 has that dragon fruit taste to it. You like you can really tell that the dragon fruit is in it, and that's the best part. Um, I suggest though you might add a little bit, help them, tell them to add a little bit of sugar to it. There's a little bit, okay? Like, shoot, you might want that thing to be a little bit more sweeter than what it was. Um, but yeah, like, I'm waiting for it right now for the new Mad Doll to drop because I want to see, and I'm hoping and cross my fingers that the Dragon Fruit Mad, Mad Doll will be better in taste wise. Because, like I said, when it comes down to this one here, particularly, this one didn't technically have too much, too much of the pineapple taste in it. It was still good. Like, you still taste the pineapple. It just, it could have been stronger in the pineapple flavor of it. But other than that, like I said, it was good. And like I said, I'm hoping that the dragon fruit, when it pops out, that it's going to be good too and then they can increase the taste because a dragon fruit has a strong texture of it of the taste and the flavor so i can't see anyone messing up the flavor of a dragon fruit even Dunkin' donuts got it correct so we're going to see how this will turn out when it comes um they still haven't got a due date released yet i'm still looking for that um but like i said i hope you guys like this video and i hope you give this a try like i said there's one location I know of so far on Air, on Allegheny Avenue. And the address for that was, is 2262 Allegheny Avenue, East Allegheny Avenue, just in case you'll look, be looking for it. It's called TD Beer. Now, it's a little corner store, so they also got other stuff in there too, not just the Mad Dogs and all that. They even got alcoholic slushies. Like, I had two of them. And I suggest that anyone try the Jamaican Me Happy because it is, it's buying. That thing could sneak up on you because it don't just have the Jamaican Me Happy cooler in there. It has something else in there. My guess is either rum from the taste of it or I would say some kind of vodka in it. But it was extremely good. Like I felt it once I got home. But yeah, thank you for everyone for watching my video. And please, like I said, subscribe so you'll, you'll be up to date for all my videos coming out. As well as like and comment on below what kind of drink would you like for me to actually bring out or even a cocktail drink you would like to see. Like, throw me over your ideas and I'll let you know how it really is. Thank you, everyone, and have a great night.